what's good? Welcome to my review of this week's episode of My Hero Academia. So let's talk. So let's begin. Alright guys, we started the episode off with a reporter um, um, in a helicopter talking about, you know, showing off, like, the, I guess the aftermath of what happened, you know, with the flames and shit, and she... Uh, notices, but then, you know, she does her, like, like, like oh, the, like, here, ho, ho, blah, 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 you know, the usual shit. And then we, she actually, um, then we get to, um, fuck, I can't, I keep, I keep forgetting that dude's name, it's the main villain, the guy that has the cork of the K, I can't remember his name for the life of me, I cannot seem to remember it, I don't know what. Okay, yeah, we see he's, like, you know, just looking at him, like, hey, whatever. Crushes the sun, crushes the um, binoculars with his, you know, quirk, and then they leave, pretty much. And then we get, then we get to the um, hospital where we see where a decent amount, where a decent chunk of the episode takes place. As so, we start this episode. Off. So then we go, we go with the crew. We have Deku and crew. You know, we have um, Grand Torito, um, the guy that's that um, working on the, the guy that E is working under. I forget the dude's name, as well as the police chief who is a dog for some reason. Oh, uh, you know what? In a world where quirks exist, I shouldn't be surprised that do that there's talking dogs. And there's also, <laughs> they pretty much saying that hey, like he pretty much telling the guy like, hey, you guys, you know you shouldn't have done what you did because it's against the rules because you weren't given permission or there wasn't supervision when you did when you like you know saved Ida and a and native. And, he, and my boy Todoroki over there, he's like, he ain't going for this shit. And this is, he's pretty much explained, like, the superhuman registration act, why it didn't work. Why I kept the hair with space, I'll get you guys, you know, you know, you know, Marvel, you know about the superhero, uh, superhuman registration act that went down the Civil War, um, comic book. He's like, you know, um, you know, he would have died had we not saved him. Ida would have died, it isn't a hero's job, it's supposed to save him, and he's like, so you're saying that unless everything turns all right, then you know, you, then you could bend the rules. Then Ida said, you know, um, oh, up our job is here. Um, heroes is to save people. Then he gets, and then he's like, you know, and he's like, oh, what are they teaching you in UA and Endeavor? And my boy's like, you dog. He gets close. I feel like, and I thought like at first second he's gonna flame up for a second, you know, incinerate him. But I told Grant, he was like, yo, hold, yeah, hear him out. And they says like that's the official opinion of the police, but since there wasn't that many um, witnesses there, this skull can go away. Scott, you guys can get away scot free. All you gotta do is just let Endeavor take all the credit. Which they do. And then we get to see. Then we see a quick. Um, and then we actually go back to. And then we see a quick. Um, I guess montage of. Well, we go back. We go outside to like um, I guess one of the square. Uh, town squares. Uh, I guess the town squares are one, one of the big areas in um, Ho Ho. I believe we're still in. Uh, there's a new castle with this dude has a horn coming out of his head, like a legit horn. And I'm like, how is that there? How do you have that? Whatever. And then we get like a quick montage of like of the characters that we will later see who will play a bigger role. Well, we still found they, we see like the, like this one dude that has. That that has like st that has like scar tissue around his mouth area and this little girl in a school uniform with earbuds listening to the newscast, which we'll find and as well as you know the the guy with the hand that must scratch himself. I, I seriously cannot remember that dude's name for the life of me. Anywho, so we see them. We'll, I'll talk about them a little bit later because we see them again uh, later on around the end of the episode. And then after that we get to see, <laughs> we get to see a quick montage of the crew. We see um we see um we see Momo, which is she just doing a beauty commercial for like hairspray. Uh, but then we get, we also get, um, Hiroshima and, uh, Tetsu Tetsu, which are just there. We get Bakugo, and nothing really happens with Bakugo. He just has that stupid, that he has that haircut that, um, the Gene dude does to everyone. And then we get to Uraraka. <laughs> and with Uraraka, we got Deku calling Uraraka, and she feels like she's saying, she's like, he's like, hey, how you doing, Deku, blah, 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 blah. Now let's talk when we get school. Then my dude, Deku, after the call, he's like, she's like shaking, he's like talking on a girl on the phone with a girl is amazing. I'm like, bro, really? <laughs> my bro, relax. <laughs> and then we get, to, and then we get back to then. Um, Deku goes back in the hotel in the um, hospital room, which we find out that actually, um, that um, Ida has actually suffered, may have suffered some long-term uh, damage to his arm in the battle against. You know, stain, and what she says that it could be like fixed up. Uh, it could be fi possibly fixed up, but like, I believe it was like nerve transplant surgery or something like, along those lines. Like they said, it was like he'll do that once he becomes a real hero. Otherwise, he'll just leave his arm with it. And Todoroki's over there being like, I actually kind of feel bad. It, it, it's actually kind of feel like it seems like every time I get involved, uh, someone always gets their hands messed up. Is it a curse or something? <laughs> and it's like he's like, it's, 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 it's,
different here, like, you know, oh, uh, you know, how can you make jokes like this? He's like, I'm not joking, I'm serious, I'm like the hand crusher or something, I'm like, the hand crusher, that should be his hero name, the hand crusher. <laughs> oh, man, I swear, man, she changes his hero name to the hand crusher, I'm gonna be laughing my ass off, which, I'm betting money that the next person to get their hand fucked up by the hands of Todoroki is probably Momo. <laughs> I'm guessing Momo because, you know, um, that's one of like, the many pairs that's going on in my record, David, which I can kind of see why people are pairing Momo with Todoroki at the same time. They haven't had any real interactions at all, at least that I know from the anime, unless they had one in season one, or they're having a lot more interest in the manga, or they're going to have it like later on this series. I don't know. And my manga reason watching this, keep the comments spoiler free. I don't want to know what goes down later on in the manga. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, though. I'm betting that's probably going to wind up being Momo. Or maybe it's Uraraka, maybe it's Donald Bakugo, who knows who's next to get the, to be, to be on, to have their hands suffered by the hand crusher. <laughs> oh man, I'll get, I'll get over that. And then, uh, then after that we get, we head over back to, um, All Might, which he gets, and with Ringto, it's, the, f the call is here, the, f it was like, I think it was like, the call is here, the phone is here, like, so it's like really loud, like, you know, all fine there, and Arez is like, God, the phone is so annoying, and it's, it's from Grant Rio, which found that he's got his, they took a pay cut, and apparently got his, um, li teaching license, uh, revoked for six months because of what happened with, you know, Deku and crew. And then, so yeah, then pretty much, and, and uh, can someone, I mean, no, actually, don't, don't tell me why exactly all my shit in this book when he's talking to Grand Trio. I don't want to know. I'll wait till the anime tells me. But he's like, she's like, oh, hey, Grand Trio. <laughs> and he's pretty much telling him, like, you know, about, you know, about, you know, um, stay, how, you know, in the internet age, his, you know, message of, you know, all the heroes are fakes, besides, you know, e uh, besides, you know, Deku and All Might, they're all fakes, they all should be, like, purged, and they, and then, it's pretty much talking about that, how, you know, how this message is probably going to, in and, like, inspire people, I guess, to, you know, become copycats, I guess, and then, we're, now, then, Around, I think we're, and I believe now we're in a, then we get to, I believe, a bar with these two gangsters. They're talking about, like, oh, you know, Stain's gone, right? maybe I should retire, there's not that much crime going on. And then we see, then this dude pulls him up from this video of Stain, where he pretty much learned his, uh, backstory, that how, actually, he was. And then we actually found that he was, actually, because he, that Alma had such an imprisonment, he actually wanted to originally become a hero. And, but since, um, get, because he had to limited education of the, in a private, in a private hero school, he went, high school he went to, he ended up dropping off in the summer, and then, you know, was making speeches on the streets, out with how he should return to the, um, you know, original, you know, ideals of heroes, you know, not, you know, no, you know, you know, save people, self-sacrificing yourself to save people, no, no, no movie deals, um, cleaning products and shit like that, um, and instead of, like, the fakes that we've seen, like, you know, right here, at least in the eyes of, you know, a Sting. So that happens, so, that is, we find that the words had a little value, so then he trained to become the hero killer Sting, and while this happened, actually his parents died, and so, yeah, then he became the hero killer Sting, and yeah, and then he says that actually that the video has been constantly been uploaded and been taken down on the internet, <laughs> probably because the government doesn't want to see you know people you know getting inspired by Stain or radicalized by Stain, becoming you know hero killers themselves, and uh, yeah. Then he says actually then we see a quick a montage of those uh, people that we saw at the begin around the beginning of the episode. You know the little girl, the dude with the fucked up face, uh, the DK, the guy that has the quirk decay, the decay quirk. As well as uh, this big muscle dude that we didn't really get to, as well as the dude in the and someone that's dressed up like Stain, saying that they have, that they have created the League of Villains. In other words, the Sinister Six. And then the episode ends there. And yeah, overall, fantastic episode like always. And I'm really curious about next week because next week is actually going to be an anime original episode because we're going to be seeing how everyone else's internship went down. You know, uh, Total uh, Bakugo, you know, Momo and crew. Because and apparently, and I'm actually kind of surprised that they're actually doing that, which it's all anime. Where this still, this shit's not going to be in the manga. Which I'm looking forward to seeing. You know how ba I'm really curious about Bakugo's because you know I mean because all we've seen of him is the dude the cops just messing with uh, Bakugo's hair. I'm really curious what his own. So yeah, looking forward to next week. Hope you enjoyed. And actually, wait, before I get to uh, leave you guys, actually, uh, one more quick announcement. Um, the review for this week's reflection ep episode might be up a lot later than this. Might be around maybe five or so. Uh, that's because that's because you know, if you saw my Detroit review, you know that we're actually heading to um, you know, Lancaster and Palmdale. You know, um, 
do some back school shopping, you know, get some clothes, some new shoes and shit. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna tell you after the ver I'm gonna try and see if I can get my start on the reflection review. I might, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the episode and get and record the review and upload it before we leave. But if I do, then you'll see it. If I don't, you'll see it like later tonight. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.